how many uh, atoms are in a hexagonal closed pack unit? So remember that's formed by taking layer A, that's closest pack, six neighbors for each atom, uh, sliding the layer B on top of it over the holes. Uh, on layer A and then sliding another layer A on top of it. So if we actually look at the unit cell, uh, let's look at these four atoms here. That's actually the base of what's going to be our unit cell. It's in the form of a rhombus. Uh, let's extend that a little bit into higher dimensions and you can see that if we extend it to the top, uh, we have this yellow rhombohedron. Again, we have a rhombus for a base on bottom on the top layer is A and A and in the middle would be layer B. So the question is, and here again is a side view of that, uh, that's what the unit cell would look like, and this is the unit cell, again, the rhombohedron. How many atoms are in it? It looks like it has eight corners and one on the inside. How much does each corner atom count? Well, let's think about this in two different ways. First of all, let's just look at this whole hexagonal prism, I'll call it, uh, and notice that it consists of really three unit cells, one outlined, uh, they're all rhombohedron. Uh, this one's outlined in yellow, this one's in green, and this one's in blue. So if we can calculate the total number of atoms in this huge hexagonal prism divided by three, we'll know how many are in part of, a part of each one of these single unit cells. So let's look at this middle one, the green one here. Let's look at this entire uh, hexagonal prism. Uh, here are the three green ones that are totally internal to the hexagonal prism, so they would certainly contribute all to the two the atoms in that prism. Uh, let's look at this atom here, and this is here. Well, these are faces, face atoms. So you can imagine another hexagonal prism on top and bottom. So we have two of these face atoms, each contributing one half. That would contribute yet another one. It's the corner ones that were most difficult to, to envision. Uh, this corner one right here, for instance, uh, you can imagine two other hexagonal prisms uh, that it would be shared in, uh, at least in this layer, and then there would be another three on top. So there would be a total of six hexagonal prisms that it would be shared in. So only one six of these, each of these corner atoms, uh, it belongs to any one hexagonal prism. Um, and since we have 12 of these, on top and bottom together, 12 times 1, 6 is 2. So if we sum it up, we have a total of six atoms that we basically show are uh, in this hexagonal prism. But remember, the hexagonal prism consists of uh, three actual um, um, unit cells that are rhombohedral, hexagonal closest packing unit cells, so six divided by three is two. So in fact, there are only two atoms in the unit cell. So another way to look at this is now let's just consider the actual rhombohedron here and not all the atoms in the hexagonal prism. So here's our rhombohedron outlined in yellow. Uh, again, we have uh, the base, which consists of four corner atoms. This green one would be uh, higher up, and then there'd be another layer on top. So what we can do is we can extend this rhombus here, represented the base, in both this direction and this direction, uh, just like we saw before. And let's look at this corner atom right here. It's right here, outlined in red. You see it would be part of four of these rhombuses. On, on one plane, and then if we extended this above, another four on top, just like in a cube. So it's really part of eight rhombohedron. Uh, so as a corner atom, eight times one eighth is one. Uh, so again, the corner atoms we treat essentially the same as we did when they were in like in a plane, in a square, in a cube. Uh, if you look at it more closely here, here's a rhombus. Uh, and four atoms uh, that would make up the corners. And although this contribution here is obviously less than it would be here, if it was just a perfect s square, each would be one quarter in here. Uh, e but they compensate for each other. So on average, we can count these as corner atoms participating in eight different unit cells. Uh, on average, one eighth would be in the unit cell. So that means we have one atom internal to the unit cell and eight corner atoms times one eighth is one, so that's a total of two atoms in the unit cell. So either way we look at it, hexagonal closest pr uh, packing unit cell, which is the rhombohedron, has two uh, atoms uh, per unit cell.